Welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is Marv Yunus and I'm a lab architect with Education Services Lab Team. In this Learning Byte, I'll be showing you how to retrieve uh, missed organization inventory data using CARL and REST API. Before we show you how to do that, you know, let's talk about some requirements and facts, okay? So, to be able to run the CARL tool, which is basically a command line tool and library for transferring data with the URLs, must be installed on the Linux host, right? And you need to have the API token generated for the org, which I will explain later, okay? And this is an optional requirement, a command line tool called JQ, which is a JSON processor installed on the Linux host because we'll be getting data in JSON format, okay? And JQ tool kind of, you know, help us to print that data that we'll be getting in a nicer, you know, format, uh, well format. I mean, you don't, have to, you don't have to install. If you just run the curl command alone, you should be able to get the data, but it may not look nice, okay? And this uh, method that I'm explaining, actually, you know, can be used inside of any shell script or any kind of Linux-based script, Python, or any other script that can call system command uh, line tools like curl or any other. You can integrate with those uh, tools. Or even let alone, you can just, you know, run it as a, as a CLI in your, you know, in your shell to grab uh, not just inventory data, like through this method, you can get other data as well by browsing the API documentation. But this is just an example to show that, you know, with inventory data, which is basically an AP in, in our case, which is part of our inventory that, that is claimed in the organization that I'm going to be showing, okay? It also, you know, you don't need to learn another programming language to make the API calls for basic needs, right? You know, sometimes, you know, uh, you will hear people recommending, okay, you need to learn that language, or this is better, uh, you know, to, to make API call. Of course, you know, learning a programming language is very good, you know, it gives you more uh, power in terms of making API calls, but sometimes, you know, you can do a lot of things with just Carl alone without, you know, learning a lot of, a lot of other languages, but, you know, just something to keep in mind. Okay, so uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you um, how to do that. Okay, just give me a second here. Okay, I'm going to take you to my missed org. Okay, so I logged into uh, my missed organization through httpsmanage.miss.com as you see here. And this URL can change depending on the organization, right? But if you don't know where to log in, you can contact your administrator, right? So before I you know, use the tool uh, and, and run the command, you know, I should uh, first show you, you know, to generate an API token, you can actually go to this help section here. Under there, you can go to API documentation, okay? And that will bring up a page. And you can see there is a uh, thing called API token, the link. You can click on that and you can kind of get the information here. So basically what you need to do is you need to uh, use the same um, server, right, up to this point, And then append this self API tokens in the URL, which I have it open here, right? I think I have it open here. Let me see here. I think. Like this, okay? If I browse to this one, right, you have to be logged in to get to this page. And then once you're logged in, you can click post, which will generate the API token, okay? I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm just going to use the token that I already got generated. But, you know, once you have the token, you can just copy those information that you grab into a text file so that you can use them through your CLI. Okay. So that's how you can generate the API token. You can also, uh, through this uh, help section, right? You can see uh, different API calls that might be helpful for you. So in, in this case, we are, we are gonna grabbing the inventory, right? Data, which you click on inventory, search inventory. And this is exactly what I'm gonna be running, okay? This API call. So before you make this call, you need to know the organization ID, right? And you can get the org ID from this dashboard, like going to organization settings. Right, you can get the ID from here. You can also get the organization ID using, you know, uh, the API, uh, you, know, you know, like this. Let me show you. Sorry, close this and close this. I think it is the uh, self. Okay, self dot. Uh, so if you wanna log in with this URL only, just put in your uh, URL here. So let me copy that. Okay, self, 
it shows me what access do I have, right? I have an admin uh, access to this arc, and this is the arc ID, right? You can do that. You can also use Carl to do that, which I will show you right now, okay? So to do it through the Carl, let me jump into the Carl method right now, so so that we can uh, we can show you it in action, right? Without needing. So if, if someone gives you an arc ID, all you need to do is let me clear. So this is the Linux server that I have. It's running CentOS. Let us release of seven, release CentOS seven. But you can use other distributions, right? Uh, so uh, I have the command that I'm gonna run. So to get the org ID, I can run this command. So curl location, you know, get and the URL. So this can vary, right? Depending on the API endpoint that you'll be, you know, accessing, and then header, which will have your authorization, right? And then this is the token that you get from the API token generation tool, right? You can save it in a file so that you can use it later, you know, uh, and then or in a variable if you're using a shell script, right? In this case, we're going to pass it to the command line. And then and this, what type of data you're getting, JSON, right? And then JQ is the tool that will format it nicely, okay? I'm going to run with a JQ and, and show you how it looks like so that you know that it, how it looks like, right? It may look nice. Sometimes it doesn't, so... It's just uh, without JQ. I mean, like sometimes it might be still fine, but in in many cases it may not be okay. I'm gonna run this to get org ID here. Okay, you see it's kind of like you know cramped here. So let me add that JQ. Right. So now it looks nicer, right? So I can see the org ID is this. Okay, this is my org ID. So now let me uh, get all the inventory under my org organization. Okay that are part of this organization. This is the uh, end goal, right, that we have. And to do that, uh, it's basically running this command. Uh, I have it here, you know, same thing, curl, and then go up to same, exactly the same. The difference here is, should be actually one, and my org ID, let me copy my org ID. Okay, Any and inventory. And you don't have to memorize this, right? If you go to the API documentation, right? You know, uh, sorry. I'm just gonna go back again. Okay, inventory, control F, inventory, inventory. You see, you can just know that this you have to put org ID here and the inventory after this V1, right? Orgs, so I have to put orgs as well. So, and then org ID and the inventory. So let me go back here, forming the command orgs right org id inventory and everything else same right so i can have another query if you if i wanted something else the, that get the information so you're just getting the information you're not changing anything uh, if you're changing that'll be a different call we have to post put sorry okay uh, so right play and paste see done so i got the data here i have the two aps under this uh, organization that I have, AP1 primary and AP2 primary, right? And if, again, if I show you without JQ, it may not look nice. Okay, it's all cramped. Okay, so, but you know, JQ makes it better, nice color. So that's how you can grab information. So you can, you know, use this method to, for example, create a, a script that, you know, grab all the inventory for your orgs uh, as a cron job, like, you know, get the data, you know, so that you uh, an email to you, right? Things like that. You can do all sorts of things uh, with this uh, curl command. So as long as you have a nice format, you know, saved, you should, you know, should be good for different things. So I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.